In this video, we're going to look at how we can do charge calculation in fund rate technology. So um, this is a course um, which is offered by um, the material engineering department. Yes. So we are going to take a question. Based on the question, I'm going to explain how we can do the charge calculation in the question. So this is the question given to us, and we are asked to, um, that is, a foundry had a stock, the following foundry raw material. All materials have been carefully analyzed. So um, these are the materials analyzed. We have the carbon, we have silicon, we have manganese, and these are the phosphorus and the sulfur. So um, we have the pick ion to be 10%, we have the steel scrap to be 40%, we have the cast iron scrap to 20%, and we have the retains to be 30%. So this means that when you sum this up, you should get 100%, right? Yes. And they've given us this. Well, with this value, note, they are in percentage. So for the pick ion, the carbon is 3.65% of the pick ion. That is the percent of the 10%, right? Yes. So with this, they are going to give us the capacity of the furnace, which is uh, 100 kilograms. So, and we have the ferromanganese to be 75% and the ferrosilicon um, to be um, 75%, right? So these are very important information that you should take whilst you are doing the calculation, right? So then they are going to provide you with two tables, which is, they say prepare a batch um, mixture calculation by expanding the chart below. So we need to expand the chart below to get... Um, the mixture calculation. So, guys, for us to do this, you need to take your calculator and also pay attention very careful because I'm going I'm going to move on to the table, how to create a table. So then we have the total um target, which is 100, and the total um win percentage is 100 in um charges that is um 100 kilogram. We have for the carbon we have um 3.6, for the silicon we have 2.5, and for the manganese we have 0.6. So then we need to prepare a table by expanding the chart below. So we need to expand this. So, and also this is the target given to us. So now this is the table below. I've already done the calculation. So per this, I'm going to explain what I did here for you to understand, right? Yes. Now in the question given to us, they gave us that the pick ion is 10%, right? The scrub is 40%, the cast ion is 20%, and the returns is 30%. So then, the total that we get here is 100%, right? Yes. Then, let's go to the mass charge. How do you find a mass charge of a pick ion, 10% of a pick ion? So what you do now is that you are going to find 10 over 100 times 100, which will give you the mass charge of pick ion because they said that the total charge coming in is 10, uh, 100 kilograms. So for us to get the mass charge of pick ion, then we know that the percentage of pick ion is 10, so you're going to get 10% of 100, which is um, 10. You do the same for the scraps, steel scraps. You do the same for the cast iron, and you do the same for the retents. Now, we are moving on to the carbon. You see, with the carbon com uh, content, with the previous table, they gave us the percentages of the carbon content, the steel scraps. That is the percentage of carbon in pick iron, steel scraps, cast iron retains. So, these are in percentage. So how do you convert this to the mass? What you do now is that we are going to, it is 3.6% of the charge given here, which is 10. So for us to find that, let's take our calculator. Let me show you what you have to do. Um, So let's take your calculator. So take your calculator. Let's see how it is done. So I'm taking my calculator. Um, so this is my calculator that I'm going to use. Um, let's use this it's here. So then for us to find 3.6% of the mass charge, what you do now is that you are going to just do Three point six five over hundred. Then the answer that you get times the ten, which will give you this. So that's why we have the zero point three six five because we are finding 
the percentage, this is 3.65 of the mass charge of the pick ion. The same thing applies to the scrap, the steel scrap. They gave us that the steel scrap, you know, we have um, 0.2% of carbon in the steel scrap. So how do you convert it into kilogram? Then we are going to find um, the same way which we did, um, the same way which we did, that means we're going to have 0 0.2 divided by 100, then times, what is the steel, uh, the steel, steel scraps here? The total is 40, so times 40, which will give you the mass of it. So when you do that, you're going to get 0 0.08. So we are going to apply the same thing for the whole thing because per here to know, we have the silicon. The silicon with a pick ion, it forms 2.25% of this uh, pick ion. So with a pick ion, what is the mass charge of the pick ion, which is 10? So then you're going to find 2.5 over 100 times 10, which will give you 0 0.25. You're going to apply all for the manganese to the same. But with the phosphorus and the sulfur, they didn't give it to us, you're not going to do anything about it. So with this side, how to get the values for this side? You're just going to find the percentage, finding the percentage of the charge given to you. So here, you are going to find the percentage of the charge given to you, percentage of the charge given to you, and the percentage of the charge given to you. Because with the uh, manganese, we have 0.65% um, of the pick ion. So that means that the mass, the mass charge of pick ion is 10. That means that it will be 0 0.65 100 times 10, which will give you 0 0.065. After you are done with that, after you are done finding these, or this side. What you now do is that you come back. Now, with the carbon, they gave us the total carbon to be 3.6. So it means that when you go to the charge, after finding the, changing it to kilogram, when you sum them, you must get 3.6. And in this case, when you sum them, you're not going to get 3.6. Let's take our calculator and see something, what I'm talking about. So when you take a calculator and you sum the carbon, which is 0 0.365, then plus 0 0.08, then plus 0 0.62, then plus 1.8. 08. When you sum them up, you are going to get this value, which is 2.145. So 2.145, and the total one they gave you is 3.6. So what you do now is that you're going to subtract the 2.145 from the 3.6. So let me do something here, minus 3.6. Don't mind my um, calculation. So minus 3.6, forget it. You get 1.455, right? You get 1.455. So the 1.455, look at here. We include the ferromanganese, the ferrosilicate, and recarburizer, right? So with the recarburizer, it deals with carbon. So that means that the excess of the of this, when you sum them, the reason why it's not adding up to 3.6 uh, 3 is because there's a recarburizer that you add to it. So you just subtract and then put the recarburizer amount that you had here. So then you are done with that. I hope you had that correct. Yes. Now let's move on to the silicon. After you find with the silicon in mass, also you find the total silicon given to you, right? This is the total silicon. So you just add this, add this one, add this, add this, right? And when you add them, after adding them, then you need to subtract from the total target they gave you for the silicon, right? So the total target they give us is what? 2.5. So it means that when you add all, from here, when you add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's add them. 0 0.25 plus 0 0.08 plus 0 0.4 plus 0 0.75. So when you do that, let's do that. So the total that we had was what? 1.48, right? It means that we had 
that is the total that we had being 1.48 yes so then after you get in the 1.48 then you are going to subtract that from 2.5 right you are going to subtract that from 2.5 so you're going to subtract that so 2.5 minus 1.48 which will give you this so you're going to have 0 1.02 uh, which is this so the reason we have this is 1.02 as very simple as that because when you sum them up you will get uh, 1.48 and then subtract 1.48 from 2.5 that's the total chart which will give you this the same thing to apply it for the manganese the manganese to you add all of this then the value you get you subtract it from 0 0.6 and then you get this one so you get in this one is very simple then how do we get this side so let's come to this side which is very important how do you get this side what you do now is that you're going to do something called now in the ferro silicate let's do the ferro silicate in the uh, FESI, we have 75% of that, right? Which also corresponds with something, right? Yes. So we should note that. So with this, right? Sorry. Oh, this value. Sorry. This value must come here. So you must get 1.02. So sorry, pardon me, because this is not ferrosilicate. It's ferromanganese. These are some mistakes that you do when you are doing this chart calculation. And I, I am happy that I have done that mistake to also prompt you that when you are doing it, you should be careful of that because we are dealing with silicon. So it's for the FESI. So then how do we get this one? That's 1.35. You are going to equate. That means you're going to find 75% of that's 0 0.75 times X, the value, which will give you 1.02 because this is in percentage. So 0 0.5 of x, which we, are, we don't know the unknown, will give you 1.02. Then you do the math, you're going to get 1.35. That's why we had it here in percentage form. In kilogram, we have it here. Now, the same thing applies to the, um, the FEMN. The FEMN2 has um, 0 0.75, right? So with the 0 0.75, you're going to equate it to what? The mass, which is 0 0.7, 0 0.175. And at the end, you're going to get what? 0 0.233. So that's why we had 0 0.233 here. This is the simple way of making and um, finding the um, chart calculation in primary technology. And please, if you have any opinion on or you don't get it, please comment in the comment section. But I hope you should go over again and I think you will get it very well. This is very simple. I thank you for watching this video and I hope you liked it. Kindly subscribe for more of this. Thank you.